Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can take solo control, aggressive control, of apps on Inferno CT side uh, using a variety of weapons. So first things first, before we go and pick up a weapon, we have two different routes that we can take from spawn for two different types of plays, okay? So, if you get a really good spawn, maybe like right in this area, alright, this is the normal play that I would go for, it involves a smoke. If you really want to be extra safe, so you're going to go right here. As soon as you come around this corner, you're going to throw the smoke. You can get in here. You run down. All right. And then you can take your peek. The other route is if you have not a good spawn to do that. You just come right through here. This is the normal apps route. Okay. Or at least the one that I take. Pretty easy, pretty simple stuff. Okay, and then you can work your way from here. Some small little utility that you know, well, should know how to do, is this guy. Gives you a one way. All right, pretty simple. And I'm pretty sure that's the only piece of util. Other things of note is that this door is wall bangable. So if you do suspect that somebody is down here, which I don't really think that anybody's ever really in this corner. I've never used this wall bang personally, um, because most people come around it like this and walk up, and that wall bang isn't going to hit them. But that's just, you know, something of note. Uh, also, a thing of note is that this is entirely wall bangable. Um, so you do have to be careful of somebody spamming through from bridge while you're trying to make an aggressive play. So, now that we've had all that out of the way, let's do the most basic types of plays, alright? So, just like the first one that I showed you, you toss the smoke as soon as you come around the corner. Okay, you can come like this, and you can take your M4 and shoot down as soon as they come out of the corner. Uh, you do want to be careful because sometimes they will hit a nutty shot on you. Um, this is not a guaranteed free kill. You can also take this and try to peek into bedroom uh, if they don't molly it and also a counter to the molly is if you throw a smoke right in there okay that smoke means that if they throw a molly here it will extinguish all right pretty sick pretty sick um, I wouldn't use this too often unless you're planning on going for a bedroom play in that case, you might be able to get away with it, but if you're just running cross apps, that's kind of unnecessary. So, other plays that you can make with the M4, aggressively, alright? You can just hold, this is pretty aggressive, alright? This is, having an angle like this is pretty aggressive. You do have a little bit of cover right here. Um, or even having an angle like this. This is this is fairly aggressive play. Um, although you're not peeking in through apps into alt mid per se, like that's that's still a pretty decent play. Um, and then of course the the not aggressive plays at all, little angles you can do. Um, get up on this ledge, just right here. This is a nice angle that you're probably not gonna pre-fire. Um, along with crouching here so you can watch the run out and they won't see you or you could get up on this ledge so if they do start to spam you you can fall back into mini pit so now that we have the m4 out of the way we have the op okay um, same type situation where you can just run through here maybe post up here you're gonna have much better luck getting that kill cleanly with the op here um, but sometimes it will be difficult to get out of there if they do put a lot towards alt mid um, the key to aggressive plays is knowing when to give up on it and when to go further with it. So for example, a time to give up on it is, let's say you're doing, you're right here, um, you hear the bedroom window break, they molly in, you hear a ton of steps of people trying to jump into a uh, bedroom, alright? Even though you may not have gotten the pick yet, you do just want to fall away in that situation just because it is likely that they pinch on you and with the op, you're probably not going to put yourself in a spot where you can get multi-frags, alright? Um, same thing, like this is aggressive, alright? Even though to some people this is pretty standard, this is considered aggressive as you can hold apps from just about anywhere, especially if you like Moto is a good spot because you can hold apps pretty passively from here um, and you can have control of arch so 
playing an angle like that is pretty aggressive. Now, one of my favorite things to do is I'm not with you yet, Zeus. Okay, one of my favorite things to do is to use the Mag 7, okay, in apps. Now, I never really go for a peak like this where I do the smoke top mid and I run through. You're probably not going to want to do that with the Mag 7. Um, you're probably going to want to do the basic, you know, run through apps with the Mag 7. There is the potential that they do spam from bridge, all right? And if I can tell you guys anything, all right, something that I've learned is you do not want to challenge these bullets. All right, the bullets usually go like in this direction so they probably shoot like this so just a diagonal so if you wait for the spam to finish and you're right here and then once the spam finishes you walk up that's an okay play but do not go ah they won't hit me the amount of times that i've been wall bang headshotted because i'm an idiot it's too many times it shouldn't happen to you don't let my mistakes happen to you all right learn from them learn from them um, also talking about my mistakes. Lots of this is trial and error. This is usually what you would a newer player would be like Okay, this right here is a pretty good angle. Okay, but the problem is is that if you're a T coming up here All right, your cross here is gonna be right here and this angle is so close that It's it's a 50 50 gun battle like there's no advantage either side What I like to do is with the mag 7. I like to stand right about here. All right, this is Solid range, you can still one tap people with it. Um, but the reason why I choose to stand here instead of here, even though they seem pretty similar, is that let's say, for example, you're a T, all right, you just clear right here. This is clear. Some people are going to start to pre aim the angle, all right. Not everybody's going to be pinning their crosshair on this corner coming up and this is a very transitional period right here you also have to worry about boiler door um so for example you come in here you're checking this this is clear okay some people then immediately transition to this or get ready for that so this is a very nice off angle to catch people's crosshair off guard and i've had a lot of success sitting right here with the mag 7 all right it usually gets people unexpected and you can do this multiple times a game I wouldn't suggest doing it two rounds in a row, but you know, maybe three rounds four rounds in between you get on an eco You can mag seven this right and this is all very very cost-effective as well um, So you can do mag seven light armor or right? you don't need the head armor against T's most of the time as their AKs are gonna headshot you anyway um, so this it's two thousand dollars it's a nice like save round kind of thing where you can go oh no i'm just gonna mag seven again or i'll mp9 next round um and that's like worst case scenario if you don't get any kills this round because you still get the six hundred dollars with the mag seven as an added bonus now one part of my gameplay that i've really been attentive to lately and i've been trying to mix in and i've had a lot of success with is using zeus all right zeus i feel like is very underrated although the kill reward is trash it does get you a weapon and that is the key point of it um sitting right here with the zeus is one of my favorite spots now just because you can sometimes hear somebody running up and i'll show a clip of this actually happening in game one car. Oh. Anchor, so up. Ah! Nice. But you can hear a guy running up here, and then he'll start to walk, and you can perfectly time it. So you're right here. You don't really want them to walk into your crosshair at this angle, okay? But you're going to see their gun barrel, or you'll hear the sound cue of them coming up. And then you just swing out real quick and get them. It's pretty fun, pretty easy, and it's very demoralizing for the enemy team. Um, another place that I've seen people use the Zeus, this was a couple years back against an ESCA, well, guy on ESCA who had like 300 Zeus kills in a month. It was crazy. But he would smoke top mid right here, and then he would sit right here with the Zeus, right outside a boiler door. So think about it. If you're a T, oh, what, the, what do you mean I can't buy an M4? Where's my M4 at? It's over here. Um, if you're a T... And let's say you come up here, you come through bedroom, all right? You're coming through bed, uh, boiler door. You can't see anybody. Like, you're not preparing for somebody right here. You're either preparing for somebody arch or somebody, like, right there. So you might pre-aim that. But if you're coming down and you're right here, this is little transition zone off angle, you can get a pretty nice easy kill right there. And it is insanely infuriating for the other team. Trust me, I know I've been on the receiving end of it. 
So I think that's it for aggressive apps play. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good day and I will see you next time.